Hong Kong is Asia's world city, known for its finance, diversity, and beautiful skyline. As it's a city next to the sea, it's no surprise that many of the 7 million people in Hong Kong enjoy seafood. What is surprising, however, is our insatiable appetite for that seafood. Now, Hong Kongers consume around 505,553 tons of seafood annually. That equates to around 71 kilograms per person a year, which puts Hong Kong as second in seafood consumption in Asia and seventh in the world. Though seafood is a big part of Hong Kong's identity, this kind of consumption unfortunately can't be supplied by the world's oceans. Now, in the past, the seas of Hong Kong used to be full of fish, a thousand species, one third of them live in close or in coral reefs. During the 1970s, however, advancement in fishing technology, such as the use of trawling ships, along with a lack of concern for the environment, led to the beginning of overfishing in Hong Kong. In the 80s, the amount of seafood caught in Hong Kong peaked and began its decline. This was the time that Hong Kong's waters told us that it could no longer supply us with enough seafood to sustain our ever-growing appetite. Now, Around 15% of fish consumed in Hong Kong are actually from Hong Kong, because since 1992, seafood consumed in Hong Kong are shipped from all over the globe. Though Hong Kong is a small place, it gets most of its seafood overseas, and it is for this reason seafood consumption heavily impacts global fish resources. When you go to a seafood restaurant in Hong Kong, it is easy to believe that the fish in the tanks were caught locally. But nearly all the popular fish eaten by Hong Kongers come overseas, sometimes arriving at Cheplak Kok by airplane. Fish from Hong Kong come from 115 countries worldwide. For example, you may get your cod from the United States or enjoy some abalone from South Africa. In fact, live seafood imports peaked in 2013 at 15,700 metric tons, which is the weight of around 2,300 large African elephants. All this isn't just going to stop. In fact, it's on the rise. Back in the 1950s, total global production of seafood was only 50 million tons, but now it's 158 million tons. In order to keep up with Hong Kong's demand for fish, global fishing vessels have to keep going further and further out to find new fishing grounds, sometimes even ex expanding as far as Antarctica. The size of the catches has been reduced over time, making it necessary for fishermen to stay at sea longer to catch the same amount of fish. In seas around the world, many fish stocks are being depleted. Hong Kong's fish unsustainability is no longer a local, but now has become a worldwide issue. One such example of the issue is the grouper, a Hong Kong favorite. The grouper takes around 5 to 10 years to grow to sexual maturity. However, this is a long time, and they're usually caught before they can reproduce. A study by the Hong Kong University found that 80% of groupers eaten in Hong Kong are actually juveniles. This means that there are far less groupers capable of reproduction in today's oceans. And if nothing is done to stop this, many species of grouper will soon become extinct. According to National Geographic, all of the world's fish stocks will collapse by the year 2040. That's just 24 years from now. Now, this may seem like doom and gloom, but the reality of a Hong Kong where sustainable seafood is common is not that far off. Aquaculture, which is basically fish farming, is a possible solution to the fish sustainability problem. Aquafarms, such as those found on Lama Island, produce sustainable seafood because the animals there were not caught from the wild, but farmed. In the past few decades, aquaculture has been growing rapidly. In fact, 60% of the world's aquafarmed fish come from China, making it the world's largest aquaculture producer. It's quite possible by, that by the year 2030, half of the fish we eat will come from fish farms. That's great, right? Well, not exactly. Though there are many ways to farm fish, one of the most common is by using a floating cage or fish pen in the open ocean. However, this means that the fish will be affected by pollution, which let me tell you, doesn't taste good. Farmed fish can escape from their nets, and if they do, they tend to be poor in health, thus will affect the health of their wild counterparts by spreading disease and parasites to the natural environment. If not done properly, aquaculture can cause even more problems. Luckily, there is another solution. There are other ways to farm fish, such as doing it indoors. In fact, it's already being done. A high-tech indoor fish farm in Lan Far Shan in the New Territories produces 70 to 80,000 giant groupers annually. The fish here are happy because the tanks are as shallow as their natural habitat 
and the equipment there produce strong currents, which mimic waves in the actual ocean. The fish from this farm are sold to local markets, restaurants, and hotels. This kind of farming is ideal because since it's indoors, the fish are not affected by weather, pollution, or any other outside factors. These kind of farms can be set up anywhere as well. Now, just because Hong Kong is having an issue with its fish sustainability, doesn't mean you have to stop enjoying seafood. As cheesy as it may sound, sustainability starts with you. And there are a few things you could do to minimize your impact on our oceans. You're probably using a computer to watch this video, but what if I told you that this computer will enable you the power to support sustainable fish consumption? That's right! If you live in Hong Kong, check out the World Wildlife Fund's Sustainable Seafood Guidebook. This guidebook can help you make your seafood choices because it clearly tells you which seafoods you should consume and which ones you should avoid. I've put the link to this guidebook in the description, so please go check it out later. When going out to eat seafood, always try to find places which serve sustainable seafood. The best way to find out is to ask. Finally, one of the best ways you can help the issue is to spread the word. Tell your friends about seafood sustainability and share this video with them so they can learn more about it. Not only will I get more views, which, by the way, is awesome for me, but by having more people know about the issue, we can all work together for a more sustainable world. Remember, even though us humans are the cause of Hong Kong and the world's seafood unsustainability, we can and will be the solution as well. Hey there, I'm Pak San, the creator of the Fishy Issues YouTube channel, and I would like to personally thank you for watching this Fishy Issues video. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something meaningful from it today. If you did, be sure to give me a like, comment, and share this video with your friends. If you'd like to learn more about environmental issues relating to fish, please take a visit to my YouTube channel or hit the big yellow subscribe button down below for more videos. My work cited can be found in the description, as always. Alright, see you next time! This is Pac signing out.